Hello everyone, it's Dark Gear 24 here, and today I'm going to try to go through this a bit as quick as possible because I know you're here for the collection tour, but this might be the last video, maybe not the last, but I don't think I'm really going to do any more videos where it's actually me talking anymore. And that is because, uh, well, it's not entirely because, like, I just have kind of, like, let's face it, I have kind of not really been interested in posting videos lately. And I've been interested in other things, but I still will try to post videos, like, the Star Stable edits I've been doing and stuff. But anyway, the second reason is because of the COPPA thing on YouTube that I'm sure every YouTuber or anyone on YouTube knows about and if you don't uh COPPA is Children's Online Protection Privacy Protection Act and to me it is completely and utterly unnecessary and useless what they're getting at is to protect children's online privacy and so to do that you have to either mark videos as not for kids or for kids and my videos are not really i don't want them to be for kids they're not really for kids so i haven't marked my videos or my channel as for kids but if you mark a video or your channel as for kids and it's not for kids then you will get in big trouble for that and if you do not mark a channel or video as for kids, you can also get in big trouble for that. So for me, it's kind of a toss up because it's like some of my videos are for kids, probably according to YouTube, but I don't want them to be for kids like this is probably for kids, but I don't want it to be for kids. But anyway, like they're taking away possibly subscriptions, which if they do, it's like the end of the world for me because I watch so many YouTubers and it would be really sad to not be able to subscribe to them. According to my friend, she told me this morning, you cannot save videos to playlists that are for kids. You cannot comment on videos that are for kids. I do not believe, yeah, I think that's it. They, I just don't understand, like how is subscribing and saving videos, how is that exposing a child's privacy anyway? And also I wanna know, why do us YouTubers, I don't consider myself a YouTuber really, but why do other YouTubers and why do us little YouTubers have to make so many major adjustments to our channels all for that? Because it shouldn't be our fault. Let's say a kid goes and comments something about where he lives or what her parents' email is or whatever, something like that. That's not... The kids fault that's not our fault it's most definitely not our fault that's the parents fault so why do we have to deal with this because someone didn't tell that to their kids but anyway yeah that's i'm probably not gonna post too many videos like this anymore um i might still do unboxings and stuff but as far as i can see like the only way i can get away with posting videos and stuff is I would have to have an intro with like a song that is not kid friendly so I don't know I'll try to do something like that and then maybe my videos will be not for kids and I will be a-okay but I still have to do some more research on that I want to let this thing go a little bit maybe for a month or two and see what the final adjustments are to YouTube and if they're not that bad I will continue doing YouTube if they are I might have to say goodbye to you guys, like I might have to, but you can still see my videos, my past videos, and like videos that I will post where it's not me talking. It's just music or whatever. So anyway, yeah, just wanted to say that. I was gonna make a whole other video, but then I was like, you know, I need to do a collection tour. I haven't done one in a while because it's New Year's. And I just thought I would make a quick bit about it in the beginning of this video. So anyway, enjoy what could potentially be the last of moi. Hello everyone, it is Dirk Hates for here, and today I will be doing a New Year's Briar Collection tour. So I don't want to talk too much about it. I'm just going to say that I will only be doing 
Well, I guess I could do it. Not too many of my models actually have names I gave them, so I will be doing both original names and their names if they have one, which so like I'll just say their original name and then their name I gave them and move on. So anyway, let's get started. So on my desk over here, I have my Hornet resin, who is sculpted by Maggie Bennett, I believe. I got him as a birthday present a couple years ago, and I love him a lot. I painted him myself. Over here is my, like, just models I like to look at, and most expensive, well not most expensive, I take that back, just model, some of my best models, I guess I should say, and also my full shelf, but... Up here is Straight Bet. Sorry, it's dark. This is Straight Bet. He is a special run from 2018. Um, back there is a custom uh, National Show horse. She doesn't have a name, but she is like a fantasy horse. This is... Is his name Glorisso or something? I don't know. He's an Andalusian stallion and I love him a lot. And this is Picasso, and he is, I don't know, it's just Picasso. This is Toro, and he is a flagship exclusive. Well, these are both flagship exclusives. I did not intend to put them, both my flagship exclusives together, but it just happened. This is Toro, and this is... I don't know what the heck his name is. It was some Spanish name, so even if I remembered it, I probably wouldn't be able to pronounce it. But his name is Guns N' Roses. This is Secession and La Fire, and I got them as Christmas presents in 2016, I believe. I can't believe I've had them for so long. I remembered when I wanted them so bad, and I was so excited when I got them. And I feel bad, because now they just, like, sit here, and, like, that's that. <laughs> it's their sad little life. This is how Store Special from... I almost said this year. Store Special from... 2019 and he is signed by his owner little focus there you go um he's really cute i love him this is emerson the 29th i think was he from 2019 2018 one of those he's a premier club horse this is not his halter this is stacy's halter Get off of it. Okay, well, I'll take that off later. And this boy has a special place there. This boy has a special place in my heart. Oh my goodness, I love him so much. He is really horribly flawed, but see, with the story behind him, if I can try to explain it as quickly as possible. I went to Briarfest 2019, did not get Rocket after waiting in the Special Run line for three hours. And so I was really ticked. And then we went to the Clarion later and my mom was like, hey, if you see any horse within this price range, you can get it. And so I found him for $180 and my dad was able to negotiate for $165, I think. But anyway, he is really terribly flawed, but because I wanted Rocket so bad, I really didn't care. And plus I'm not, I don't show my models i just use them for photos and stuff so i didn't care because as you can see he wobbles and his mane is pretty badly done um on both sides and his tail is not the greatest but i don't care i love him so much he's like one of, i think he is probably my favorite briar not my favorite model horse because my favorite model is a peter stone but he is definitely my favorite briar. This is, um, her little thing is back there somewhere. This is uncalled for, and she is, I don't know what she is. It's just, yeah, uncalled for. This is Gigi Valentine, and she is very cute. I love her. This is my little wolfie named Raven. I know they have tags. I was going to show any horses that you see with tags. I was going to show them at Briarfest 2019. And I never, like, I slept in too late. <laughs> I missed the show. This is a lady phase who is in the process of being customized by me. I don't want to pull her out because everyone's going to fall over. But she's supposed to be a Palomino. So, yeah, I ordered her and 
for full look of eBay for 20 bucks. This is Cupid. This is Bosley Blue, who I'm actually thinking about selling. I'm not too sure yet. This is Footloose. That's Lady Faces Full, as I said. This is the Appaloosa Fall. <clears throat> this is Gazoza, I think. I don't know if she goes, or he or she, I don't remember, goes with Fantasia. <laughs> This is Cosmic One, who you don't even see, you just see his little star. This is Heartbreaker, um, I almost said Pipsqueak. It's not Pipsqueak, what is it? Sweet Pea. And Arrow, goes with Cupid. And it's Trusty, goes with Bozy Blue. This is Cricket, I think. And this is Ashley, and Ashley is just like a favorite of mine for, she's my favorite vintage, definitely. I love her a lot, I hate vintages, but She's just a doll baby. Down here is my like random shelf where I just throw random models like because as you can see everyone else is kind of like together with like congas and like categories and then there's this disaster. But this is the Grilla Pinto named Cactus. This is Winter Wonderland, the 2016 I think Christmas horse. This is Secretariat. This is Jubilee, I think. Is that his name? I don't know. The Mule. Fantasia. Little Ricky Rocker who was signed, but if I pick him up, she will fall over, so I'm not going to do that. And that is Rhapsody, I think. Rhapsody in Black, something like that. I don't know. This is my little Mustang scenery that I made like two years ago, and I was going to show at Briarfest, but again, never got around to it. Um, this is my first bra traditional ever, uh, the Gypsy Vanner, and his name is Geronimo, and he's had that name ever since I got him, five years ago, four years ago, something like that. Oh, that's that. There's his name. I knew I wouldn't be able to know how to pronounce it. This is Jack Frost, the 1999 Christmas horse. He does have his tack, but it's in a box. All of my Christmas horses have their tack, it's just somewhere else. Except for this guy, he does not have tack. This is... Mm. The Winter Song, I think. I don't know. I don't know what Christmas horse he is either. I think it says 2007. So that's him. He's very pretty. I love him a lot. Only thing I don't like is that he has a red mark on him thanks to Briar putting his blanket on in the box. This is SBH Phoenix and this is Xavier. The only unicorn I like because I'm not a fan of unicorns at all. But he is gorgeous. This is the Irish blah, 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 Irish 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 Drop Horse. And this is Oliver, the 2019 celebration horse. So down here is the vintages, which I just had a conversation with my friend the other night and she thought it was hilarious when I was like, I hate vintages. And she was like, well, why do you have them? Because I've seen, because she's not a model horse collector, but we got to talking about models and um, she was like, well, why do you have so many vintages if you don't like them? And I said, because most of them are valuable. And she's like, oh, okay. And then she start talking as the horses. She's like, yeah, our owner hates us, but she only keeps us because we're valuable. And I was thinking about it, like, half of these guys aren't that valuable, and I'm probably going to sell some of them. This is, I don't think he has a name, but he is a paint horse, and he is another favorite of vintages, because of vintages? Of vintages. Of my vintages. He is a favorite. I love him a lot. I like this mold, and I also like his color. This is the original Man of War, I think. I'm not entirely sure. This is Faith, and my friend has hope, so it's like a friendship thing. I have one, she has the other. This is the... ASPCA horse. I believe this is like a pretty old mold and I am, I do like it a lot, but this is the horse that goes with that set. This is Banner, I think. I don't really know much about him. And this is Secretariat, the old Secretariat who is like not my favorite, but he has like the cutest face and so I can't, I get this, like looking from this angle, he's horrible, but from this angle, it's just like, adorable is the original john henry <laughs> the original john henry i don't think there's another john henry this is joe patchen i think i don't know much about him at all this is flicka who was also my mom's horse but i don't really like her 
And this is Foiled again, who will probably also go on the market because I got him at Tuesday morning and he doesn't stand up and he's not photogenic and I don't really like him. So he's probably going to go up for sale for like $15. I don't know. This is S Just a Dream. Um, Ferrano. This is like my doubles shelf, as you can see. There's only two of each. This is Ferrano. I thought about selling her and then I was like, no, she's too cute. So I kept her. And she's from Briarfest 2016, I think. This is Don't Look Twice. Oh, yeah, there's a thing back there. This is Bet Your Blue Boons. This is Sam, Sado. Um, Little Texas, I had to look at his card up there. This is Cobra. This is my custom zombie horse. Like, I don't know, it's not really a zombie horse. It's just like a, a really weird custom idea I had for like a, I guess it's like a dead, like, like a zombie slash demon horse, I don't know. But her eyes glow in the dark and it looks really creepy at night because sometimes I'll forget that they do and then it's like, what is that? And it's like, oh yeah, it's just her. But she's my favorite custom that I've done. I love her so much. She's so cool. And this is Bluegrass Bandit. And I also love her. She is also a favorite of mine. And up here is my, like, racing horses. This is Baby Flo. This is Bozeman. Ruffian. Poltergeist, I think. Black Caviar. American Pharaoh. And Rags to Riches. Up here is my... He's a random. I feel bad for him. I'm probably gonna, I'm, I may sell him, but I, I'm not too sure about that yet. This is Lonesome Glory, um, Woodland Splendor, 2016. Well, no, because if he's 2016, Christmas horse, then what is he? I don't know. He's a Christmas horse and his name is Desert Eagle. And this is Athlete Alex. This is Zanyata. This is Buy a Nose. Special run from 2018. Started to say 16 again. This is Ravel. This is Snowman. Brunello. Wapiti Horse. Cherry Creek. Fonzie Merritt. Had to look at his. Um, that is a special run from 2016 as well. I don't know her name. This is Liberty, this is the original Long Ranger Silver, Goots and Fantique Seal, Brass Hat. Um, these are both Celebration Horses. He's from 2014, he's from 2017. No, 18. <laughs> Cortez C. Sorry, my hands are really shaky. It's hard to hold this. Flexible Jewel, who is a Christmas horse from I don't know what year, and Patriot. All right, so up here we have Banks Vanilla, um, Naz Rudden, a celebration horse from 2017. I have JC, the Tractor Supply Exclusive. I have Mr. Hondras, Harley D. Zip, a custom Imperator Dos Aguas, a regular Imperator Dos Aguas, um, 2016 celebration horse. Big Checks Cash, um, mounted police canadian mounted police horse kaylee who i'm very much so thinking of selling um she has a really bad worked leg and she doesn't stand up but i'm gonna try to fix that maybe and then sell her but she is a special run from 2017. this is ichabod crane he is a store special from 2018. he is maverick tracker supply exclusive um i'm standing on my shelf down here but this is, I don't know what his name is, but he's like a Spanish horse, um, Peruvian Paso, I think. This is Lusitano. This is Easy to Spot, Connemar Pony, Bayou, Suvalia Frajorn, Hackney Pony, um, Sergeant Reckless, and Brookside Pink Magnum. I have my classics along my little Bluetooth speaker down here. Um, yeah, he was my first Briar horse ever, so he's very important. Special, important, whatever. That is 
the Color Crazy Prize Horse, who I just bought because I cheated. <laughs> that is Vallegro and Voyeur, who is a, another favorite of mine. And lastly down here is my little Peter Stone shelf. I'm going to get an actual shelf for these guys to put right up there eventually, but for now they're just down here. This is Woody. He is the wood grain jumping horse who does not have a stand because the little peg is in there somewhere. But I got him off of eBay for 20 bucks. It was more so like I was just looking at him and then my mom walked in the room and she's like, oh, he's cool, you should get him. And so I did. And he's not my favorite, but I consider him my mom's horse. This is a random braining quarter horse. I got him from someone in Canada. I don't know anything about him, but he's really cute. So he's just... He's just there, but he's really cute, and he's pretty good with photos, so he's not going anywhere. And this is Hi-Hat Bubba Black. I don't know anything about him, really. He might be just a random release. I don't know, but I named him Axel from Guns N' Roses. And this is my DAH, and her name is Stacy. Um... I got her actually. I made a video saying I was going to do an unboxing of her. And I did do an unboxing of her and I might post it still. But I got her on the 23rd of December. And I ordered her on the 9th of September. So it took quite a while but it was worth it. Because just look at this girl. She's just adorable. I love her so much. But yes, she's very cute. And I love her a lot. She accidentally kicked poor Axel. I'm sorry. This is a special run. I don't know anything about her at all. But she was a Christmas present. And she's really cute. But yeah, she's another Palouse. It says GLC on her forehead. I don't know what that means. But yeah. And this is my big old Perchon boy. Perchon boy. Whatever. The... Standing drafter, and I love him a lot. I got him a while ago. I did do an unboxing, but I never posted it because I didn't want to post an unboxing from like three months ago. So yeah, but he's very cute. I love him a lot. But Stacy at the moment is definitely my absolute favorite model horse. Axel comes in second, and then Emerson is third. That is my... Briar collection tour. Well, just model horse collection tour. So here's a little overview. Uh, mush off there. And then there's the one little dude over there who's just like a decoration on my desk. But anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was quite long. The recording is 21 minutes. I don't know how this video, how long this video ends up being for you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Peace.